All right, so for the remake on that Red Fox, I've already buried my chain back down and beat my trap bed back out for what I think. All I'm gonna do, so I ran out of wax dirt. I'm gonna have to definitely make more next summer than what I did this summer. I plan on filling up some drums worth of wax dirt this coming summer. But uh, I'm using peat moss for right now which works, that's what I used before I went to wax dirt. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just real spongy. And it's really hard to bed a trap in it. So, like I said, plenty of people use it. I've used it for years until I started making my wax dirt this summer. And, uh, you know, never had any problems with it. Other than it being spongy. And for some reason, I've noticed that... Some critters, if you don't bed it down solid or try to pat it down as hard as you can, when animals go to step on it, they don't like it. That loose dirt and that loose spongy feeling to them is not normal. So they just shy away from it completely. So same thing goes as always, you know, make sure your trap is solid, which it is, and then you know, make sure daggone winds blowing make sure if you're using peat moss stuff make sure you pack your jaws good and you know just try to get it as as hard feeling as you can using this stuff so all i'm gonna do pour some on there and it just takes a lot more to fill in a trap too it's powdery i've sifted all mine and it's just hard to get it to feel natural, but you can make it work. Take this corn stalk, find your pan. All right, there's my pan. And what I'll do, I'll take the peat moss, make sure your pan's completely out. Make sure your pan's completely out. And I'll just go around it and try to pat it down as hard as I can and you don't want to put too much off of it because it is you know rain resistant it'll last a good while and a little bit of rain but what happens is it'll start to gunk and then it'll make your trap fire off slower or uh, it'll just it won't let your jaws close completely so I've got it about as solid as I can get it all I'm going to do is just take this leftover dirt and a little bit of this cornstalk shavings and I'm just going to sift it over. See how much more natural that looks? And I know my pan is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all this back up that this fox tore down. I ain't going to make some big old hut. I'm just going to do a little thing like this. We're out in a cut cornfield. So, you know, they're going to run the, I mean, there's actually a road right here behind me that breaks the field up. And I, I figured out that a lot of animals will run those instead of just run slam through the middle of the field. And uh, it just works better for me. So my pan's right there. I'm going to take a hole and punch one right there. I'm not going to do it too deep. Alright. And now, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Like I said, I used uh, Trap Shed's Purple Haze and uh, their Fox Pea. I forgot to mention that. And then I used SK Mice Meat. Well, this fox has been here all night and all day until I got here after work. So it's peed. It made plenty of smell for me. Coyotes are super attractive to that. So I'm going to switch up the baits and the lures just to keep it interesting. I'm still after red foxes too, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, if, if bobcats, foxes, and coyotes, I'm going to basically just make it to where anything can want to hit it. I'm not going to spray any urine on it. I'm just going to put a little something, something different on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on it get it out 
I'm going to use Dunlap's lures, the Alpha Predator food lure. I'm going to take that, just dab a little bit of it, and I'm going to put it right in there. And I'm going to take And I'm going to take some Cavens. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's Hiawatha Valley. That's what I'm going to switch it over. I used this last year and caught a good amount on it. So I'm going to take, let me see, I'll just use my scooper for this one. That hole's big enough. Take a little bit of that. Put it down in the hole. Make sure it's down in the bottom. Put a little bit on top. All right. Now I'm gonna take some of Carmen's canine call lure and put it on top of that. It's been hot here for the past week. It's January and it's been in the 60s and 70s, and it sucks because I've been burning up possums and skunks every day over here. Last night it got down in the 20s out of nowhere and we connected on this red. So I'm gonna take this call lure and I'm gonna stick it right in the top right here. And just cover it up a little bit to get some of that smell out there. When they're crossing this road or coming across the fields or whichever way they feel like going. So with that, I'm just going to take a little bit, not much, I'm going to kind of bundle, huddle this in a little bit to where he's got to step right there. He can't dig it from the sides, or I don't want him to think he can. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on it just to make it look that much more natural. And that is going to be my remake for this fox set. 